ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी आई एम डॉक्टर गोयल फ्रॉम संजीवन फॉर परफेक्ट आई सेट बॉम्बे टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी वॉट इज ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी बेटर वील डिसाइड वील डिवाइड दिस होल टॉपिक इन फ्रैक्शन लाइक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी कॉजेज ऑफ ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी साइनेस सिम्टम्स ऑफ ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी ट्रीटमेंट अवेलेबल फॉर ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी आउटसाइड एंड इन संजीवन फॉर परफेक्ट आई सेट दैट विल बी बेटर वे ऑफ गोइंग थ्रू द ऑप्टिक एट्रॉफी टॉपिक डेफिनेशन इज श्रिंकेज ऑफ ऑप्टिक नर्व ड्यू टू डिजेनरेशन ऑफ रेटिनल गैंगलियन सेल्स आर जी सी एक्सोन एट्रॉफी इज ए मिजनोमर एट्रॉफी मीन्स डिस यूज सो बेटर नेम शुड बी ऑप्टिक न्यूरोपैथी वॉट डज डेफिनेशन मीन्स इन द रेटिना विच इज फोटो सेंसिटिव लेयर द प्लेंटी ऑफ एक्सॉस अगर वन पॉइंट टू मिलियन रेटिनल गैंगलियन सेल्स और एक्सॉन्स हु मेक्स नर्व फाइबर्स and makes the optic nerve which transmit the information from eye from retina to brain that is called as nerve optic atrophy optic nerve the atrophy of this nerve gives a lot of problem in the human being this optic atrophy is one in 35000 is people the optic atrophy is common this must come one in 35000 people What are the causes of optic atrophy? We can divide the causes in the or causes in the eye. Second, outside the eye, along the pathway from retina to brain, and others, and congenital. In eye, the causes of optic atrophy is glaucoma. Glaucoma, where the intraocular pressure increases, which creates the pressure on the head of the optic nerve. and create atrophy of the optic nerve second optic neuritis the inflammation or infection of optic nerve that may cause that may lead to optic atrophy third is ischemia if the blood supply to the optic nerve reduces by any by any cause that can give rise to optic atrophy the second cause is along the pathway from retina to brain any cause which creates a problem to the optic nerve or causes the degeneration of the axons or cells can create or can give brain result in optic atrophy like in trauma if any accidental injury which can damage which can give a problem to the optic nerve that optic nerve get damaged in the accident or trauma that we write to optic atrophy tumor any tumor is any space occupying lesion which presses the nerve optic nerve can lead to the optic atrophy optic neuropathy any neuropathy can lead to the optic atrophy now next is congenital there are certain syndromes like leber's hereditary optic atrophy there are certain syndromes or some autonomous diseases also can lead to optic atrophy now next is idiopathic the cause is not known but it can lead to optic atrophy next so many diseases which can give rise to optic atrophy like diabetic retinopathy tuberculosis retinitis pigmentosa and so on there are so many diseases vascular diseases non vascular diseases and these diseases can lead to optic atrophy Now we come to the what are the signs and symptoms of optic atrophy. Starting from pupil outside, the pupil of affected eye, it becomes sluggishly dilated or semi dilated or dilated depending on the amount of damage in optic atrophy. Due to optic atrophy, blurring of vision can be possible. Blurring or vision loss can be possible depending on the percentage of damage or quantity of damage in optic atrophy color blindness the color blindness also occurs due to optic atrophy side vision loss side vision loss is there these certain symptoms are there due to optic atrophy signs and symptoms 
Now, what are the way of diagnosing optic atrophy? The one way is clinical examination. Clinical examination can give rise to the or how the pupil is reacting. When we see the retina, then optic disc cupping can be possible. Pallor disc is there. Thin or the vision or the fiber loss of an anaphora. Retinal nerve fiber layer that can be the layer can be thin. Then we can diagnose with OCT. OCT can give it or OCT of optic disc will give it cupping and the, uh, the uh, RNFL, how many fibers are got thin in particular which area, nasal, temporal, inferior, superior, where they are lost or all over. Perimetry. Perimetry or field test can give us the idea what is the field test, the peripheral vision loss can be possible, that can be seen in perimetry report, how much peripheral vision loss is there or how much loss is there of the vision in the due to retinal we can see the in perimetry. Geography, fundus and geography also can be done. That also can give us a clue about the problem. So certain that if we are expecting any tumor or any space occupying vision, we can do the MRI also of the orbit and the brain. So there are certain tools to identify optical problem. When we come on the treatment part, treatment available outside is very less. Is there that when any um, useful vision is there, then they give uh, vision aid. And second treatment can be like whatever cause is there of the optical problem, we should treat the cause. We should look, for example, if we use glaucoma, treat the glaucoma. If it's tumor, remove the tumor. If any trauma, then take care of the trauma. If any decompression or something is required for the bones. So treat the cause. And if it is within practical reason, is useful reason is available, then give it uh, uh, aid. So within uh, like uh, aid, like uh, magnifying uh, aids. <coughs> but I will show you here what treatment is possible in Sanji one for perfect sight and body. Where we can improve vision, peripheral vision, we can improve the health of the optic atrophy, optic nerve also. Because it has been seen that certain cells are just there in the optic nerve which are not dystrophied, which are not degenerated and which are not working also. They are called as weak cells or dormant cells. We can activate them by integrated method used in Sanjeeva Perfect I have seen practically people improving in vision here in case of optic atrophy. Improvement depending on how much severity of the optic atrophy is there, but improvement is possible. Here I will show you two reports uh, with improvement in such a way for perfect sight right now. You can contact from 93 to 44 0702. You can visit our site www.sanjeevan.in or you can contact us on or mail us on info at the rate sanjeevan.in.